It was just a sick round from start to finish by Device and just netted him. Honestly, just won his team the round. There's no question. So this round by Device is actually insane. He has so many different faces in it. It's so impressive to watch. He makes so many different micro decisions and it just nets him so many rewards. So let's get into it. He notices earlier in the half that the T's aren't smoking door that much and that they're just blowing it to put pressure on the CTs so their rifles are facing. So he gets his annex player to molly left side door so he doesn't have to worry about it and he can peek pre-lobby like this. Super favorable fight and just a nice punish on the T's default. So, gets the pick, and what's, what happens here is pretty nice. He shift walks down ladder, just so that he's they have confirmed information that someone's dropped. And the T's call there, Chiron will be calling to his teammates to push outside because the AWPer is pushing pre-lobby, and the AWP has pre-lobby control. So the T's naturally want to take space where the AWP isn't, so they accelerate their outside push, and device repositioning nets him another free kill on Zortu. And then here, it's a 4v3, smokes pre-lobby, sorry, smokes secret, any sane player would not do this, but there is a time and place always for these plays, and Device picks it perfectly. His team is fighting outside. He knows they have that distraction going, so he continues to fight and gets the third kill of the round and pretty much solidifies the round outside there with a nice 3k. I think that round just displays from start to finish how important just adaptations are in real time and just decision making and just repositioning and understanding what the other team wants you to do and what they want to do in reaction. It was just a sick round from start to finish by Device and just netted him. Honestly, just won his team the round. There's no question. So in this round, Device shows us a couple of faces once again. He goes for a mid pick over a smoke boosted by his teammate, which is pretty solid overall. Sees no one in mid, so instantly repositions as the T's have been smoking the door. His teammates have called heavy long pressure, so he's able to reposition his AWP and hopefully get a fight here. Now the bottom line isn't the strongest line you can play because you can get used off, so he repositions nicely once he has a gap. His teammates take short here, so long becomes more of a priority, especially once he sees his U-tool. Gets flashed off the line. And the rate in which this U-tool is thrown, the flash, the smoke, and the molly, it's probably not one person throwing it. So it's fair to assume that there's two people long at least, most likely the pack, judging off the information on the map. So he throws a disruptive smoke on site, which is really good because it makes the T side have to think on the fly. It makes them have to live problem solve and just not play a standard round that they want to play. How you want to play CS, you want to be disruptive and you want to throw spanners at the work of the other team. Because if everything goes to plan, then the T side should win because they're the ones making the decisions from start round. So the CTs are playing catch up. So throws a nice corner smoke. And then he cheese it. Ah. Then he cheese it. And then it just honestly destroys the T's here, as we can see. I'll show you why that's so powerful from the T's perspective. So the T's see that smoke. And it sort of invites them to continue walking up because it works as a wall for them. Now they know, okay, no one can see us from sight. But then the HE comes in and it just destroys them really. Goes from them feeling like they're secure and safe and be able to walk up long to just being exposed and out of position. Just very nice micro adaptations by device and just dominating his area of the map. So for our last example, looking at the device, we're going to look at how he manages an anti eco round and a hero AK with ease and how he uses his little understandings of just essential mechanics to favor his team and to give him a winning round, really. So starts off the round in mid. His teammate has control behind him. So he can run up, throws a nice deep H here, tries to jump on the back ledge to spot mid so he's not peeking just on the standard line. He gets spotted there, so he instantly changes his elevation to the slope so the T's with digs and tech nines can't just pre-aim him and take his head off. He wants to play an unpredictable line, so he just can't get pre-aimed. So, makes the T's swing, changes his elevation once again on the slope, gets a nice double kill. Now here, he hears someone ticking in the molly, but he's already pulling his knife out, so instead of standing still and just dying, he instantly strafes and jumps to the right, so it makes it super hard for Flamesy to get a kill there and his teammate's able to save his life. Even if his teammate wasn't there, at least he buys a bit of time where he won't just die for free. Maybe Stan can try and pick him off. But, gets that kill. Now, his teammate's throwing a flash and he starts spamming to pull the attention of Sphinx because a lot of players would do this. Their teammates would throw a flash, a pop flash somewhere, and you shoot your rifle to sort of grab attention and to break the sound cue of this flash being thrown. He does that, Stan, so Sphinx is pretty alert. 
dodges, but he's already disorientated, and Snarv is able to get the kill there. Just super nice overall mechanics and just understandings by device. It just shows how he wins majority of the easy rounds with ease, just because he doesn't drop the ball when he goes to eco rounds. He still plays at a super high level, applies all his fundamental understandings, and just secures ecos and force by rounds. Honestly, the backbone of the game is to be able to win these rounds. You can't just lose them because like ends up breaking your economy and then your momentum's gone. So just super solid overall gameplay by device. And it's just sick to see, even on the rounds that you expect to win, he doesn't drop the ball and he keeps the quality and the standard high. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope it was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback, feel free to let me know in the comments or just message me on any social media platform. Um, I really do appreciate you watching and I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing. I do appreciate it a lot. Have a nice day, guys.